Now, with the current flood systems at a crossroads across the world, there is a strong need for transforming food production. Forgive me, food systems. Uh, there's a strong need for transforming food production and consumption patterns in a much more sustainable way. Uh, one where farmers adapt and build resilience to the increasing challenges from climate change and uh, where nutritious food is available for all. As a result, the Center for Indigenous Knowledge and Organizational Development, together with the Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana and other partners, are championing the adaptation of agroecology as a means of ensuring food security and ending climate change. My colleague Anas Sabit has more in this report. Opakwajo James is the founder of the Sustainable Livelihood Institute, a social entrepreneurship center specialized in organic farming, permaculture activities, as well as training and mentoring of the youth. On the same piece of land, James, who started with only mushroom farming, currently has various varieties of crops coupled with livestock farming. Before, we are doing only mushrooms. But as time goes by, we realize that we could add, you know, other sustainable livelihood activities to it. And so we incorporated uh, li uh, livestock, uh, quail farming, ducks, uh, rabbits, uh, snails, and beehives. The motive behind blending livestock with the crop farming, according to James, is to build a combined local and scientific farming system that focuses on the interactions between plants, animals, humans, and the environment. James, a leading producer of mushroom in the Bono East region, says farming through agroecology is effective and cheap to operate. And contrary to a general perception that agroecology is expensive and earns the farmer little in terms of produce and income, James says agroecology is a lucrative venture. We yeah, have very good orientation about agroecology. You see that it's cheap to operate. And, then, and in the long run, it's sustainable. Mushroom is very lucrative, depending on how you do it. If you do it well, my brother, I don't think <laughs> if they offer you any job anywhere, you want to do it. You want to do mushroom. An agroecological approach includes a number of agricultural methods such as diversification of crops, conservative tillage, green manures, natural fertilizers, biological pest control, and production of crops and livestock in ways that stores carbon and protect the forest. Mr. Bernard Guri is the executive director of the Center for Indigenous Knowledge and Organizational Development. Agroecology, as it says, is farming with nature, where you don't cut off your trees, you grow your crops together with the trees. In terms of the soil management, you don't go and put chemicals inside, you put manure into a soil. And then in that way, they are able to produce, to feed the community, and still have surplus that can feed the country. The center is currently promoting the adaptation of agroecological farming for farmers in the Bono East region. Mr. Bernard Guri believes that the current farming style is negatively affecting the ozone layer, thereby contributing to climate change. The so-called industrial agriculture that we talk about, that we think is better and will feed the country, is actually promoting climate change. And also promote the use of a lot of fertilizers. And these fertilizers are chemicals that, is, that go off into the air and affect the ozone layer, which is actually protecting the environment and it, 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 it keep your temperature low. He says the surest way to solving the issue of global warming is to switch to agroecological farming. I think industrial agriculture is what is the highest contributor to global warming. And therefore, we, we, there's a need, an urgent need for an alternative. And the alternative is agroecology. One aspect which is really explored is the quality of food produced through agroecological farming systems compared to that of the industrial farming. James says organic foods last longer and taste much better than inorganic foods. To buy food from the market and the organic, they last longer as compared to the inorganic method. 
for instance, purple, even our mushrooms, vegetables, we harvest them and keep them for months. And they don't go bad. So in terms of comparison, I don't think we even need to compare. Organic is super as compared to inorganic. And it's cheaper as well. From the farms, we visited the Techiman Central Market to ascertain from these vegetable sellers the difference between organic and inorganic farming products in terms of quality and cost. Dokas Asiedu has been into this trade for the past 25 years. We have them in two varieties. These ones go waste after some few days, but these ones last up to a month because they are produced through organic means. The difference it looks slim but healthier than these ones the well educated always go for these ones but the uneducated opt for these because they are cheaper Dorcas appeals to farmers to switch to organic farming according to her the organic vegetables last longer and are healthier than the inorganic ones all these vegetables have health benefits, but people are not buying now because of the chemicals used. So the farmers should reduce the use of chemicals on their farms. With consumers increasingly demanding healthy foods and policy makers like Secord calling for farming methods that promote environmentally friendly agriculture, there is the need for the consideration of agroecology as the surest option to end climate change. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Tichiman.